last month I was on my annual vacation and uh, as we all do, we take a lot of pictures and then push them on our social media handles. If you know about me, I microblog my travels through on my Instagram and on my Facebook and WhatsApp statuses. So, as usual, I was going to a nice spot and I was clicking a lot of pictures and posting it on my social media. But more than the, uh, the comments on uh, the pictures of the beauty, the sights that we are seeing, one particular kind of pictures that sort of got most attention this, uh, in this vacation. And I wanted to talk to you about it. But first, check out the picture. comments that I've been getting why are you having salad on your vacation and this is vacation you're supposed to be having a lot of fun etc etc that is when I realized that I wasn't like this at all I mean I am naturally drawn to veggies I love veggies but seeing fresh vegetables such as asparagus and avocados and um, kale and you know stuff that you don't get easily in India looking at them I was naturally drawn to them and I just plan to eat healthy um, but only when my friends commented or responded to my stories did I realize what was happening I have tried multiple diets my whole life like I said before but my goal always has been to feel good to feel healthy and obviously to lose some weight if I can do that is one secret ingredient which I discovered which basically changed my whole life it changed my whole lifestyle and that is self-discipline Self-discipline is an ability to make yourself do what you should do, when you should do it, whether you like it or not. When you're disciplined, you're not looking at instant gratification, which is basically short term, but patiently wait for the long term reward, which essentially is my goal. Feeling good, feeling healthy and losing weight along the way. So today I want to share with you a couple of things that I've done to ensure that I'm disciplined or I lead a disciplined way of life. And like I said before, I wasn't like this before and doing something consistently actually got me uh, to a place where I am. I know there's much more to go and I am discovering new uh, things every single day, but I wanted to share with you what I've done so far. So let's call it a four step method. The first one is to stop temptations. Remember the phrase out of sight, out of mind, apply it into your life. Uh, stop buying things that you feel tempted to want to try or tempted to get you out of your discipline. When you stop buying things that you're tempted to eat for a month or so, say you know that it takes about 21 days to set a habit, right? So if you stop buying or stalking temptations for about 21 days, then it becomes a habit not to reach for it. And when it becomes a habit, it is very, very easy for you to stick to your plan. Removing all the temptations and distractions around you is a crucial first step when working to improve self-discipline. Now, it's quite possible that you may have, uh, you know, you cannot help some of the temptations that could be around you. The second thing that I did was strategize and schedule my week times. For example, in my case, I know that I feel a little peckish around 11 o'clock and 4 o'clock and this is the time where I usually grab, you know, savouries or something that really is what my temptations are. What I have done or what you could do is to basically create a strategy on eating healthy around this time. And at this time, if you have a healthy snack around you, then there are little chances that you will reach out and eat those temptations. So having a strategy as per your schedule is very, very important here. But I've dug, dug deeper than this. I've actually discovered or read about the science behind this feeling of craving. And I realized that these are the pockets of time when the blood sugar level goes down. And at that time, our brain is not functioning at its best. And that's when the binging happens. So if you schedule a snack and keep it where you are working, then you're more likely to stay controlled. The third thing to do is to start now. Whatever that you want to do in whichever field that you want to do, do it right now. Do not wait for stars to align because they are not going to. There's never a good time to start. The time is right now. So don't wait till Monday or the first of next month. You must start now because 
now is a time that you're really excited about it. It probably won't be in the next two, three days. So starting now will ensure that you're more consistent in whatever that you do, whether it's your diet or whether it's hitting a gym, trying a new kind of workout, trying a new kind of food form. And also that starting early can ensure that you have results in the next two, three days. And who knows that can get you more excited and you will be more consistent on your path. So the moment you have an idea, start right away. The fourth step is to forgive and move on. This is especially if the temptation gets to you because you're human and you have temptations and you have cravings, but that's okay. Enjoy while it lasts, learn as how you slipped and just move on. Do you think I never had a pizza on my vacation? I had pizza, I had creme brulee and also wine. I enjoyed while I was having them, but once done, the next meal plan is always healthy. I do not feel guilty about having that treat, but I did not give up that entire day thinking, oh, I've ruined this day, so today I can eat whatever I want and not be careful. The thing about self-discipline is it ha temptations happen, you're human, but end of the day, you just forgive yourself. There's no guilt, there's no need to feel guilty or angry or frustrated because those emotions are not gonna help you develop self-discipline. Remember, the longer you're off the game, the harder it is for you to get back. So use these moments as learning experience, but move on to your plan right away. So let me summarize them all again for you. First, you block all your temptations out. Then you create a strategy and schedule for your weaknesses. Then you start out on your plan almost immediately because you're excited about it right now. And finally, if you do give in to that moment of weakness, forgive yourself, learn from it and move back on track immediately. Research shows that willpower is more important than IQ. So that's why the point isn't to be smarter, but to become more self-disciplined. I've given you an example of my diet plan for self-discipline, but these four steps can be applied in whichever area of life that you want to be disciplined about. And if you need any other information regarding this, you can reach out to me. So you can leave your comments in the comment section below or you can ping me or DM me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. I hope you have a wonderful time. I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. Subscribe and also hit a bell button so you'll never miss an update from me. Here are a couple of the playlists that may interest you. Do check them out.